I had a gentleman that they wouldn't even give him his glasses. <laughs> and he didn't know what he was reading. They said, just sign it. So you can't say you want to talk to your lawyer or have them review these documents or no. anything? Is this America or this is? This is Larimer County. This is, a speed, this is a speedy trial. Huh? You're right, we'll get to the speedy trial. <laughs> so, could, I, could I ask you to, to tell them the story of um, your lady with dialysis? Well, our, a real big problem with pretrial is it's a really a blanket on everybody. Everybody gets it. It doesn't matter what your situation is. I mean, it's not like they look at anybody as an individual. I had a woman that I um, bonded out of Loveland had arrested her, and she was at the Loveland Police Department, and they didn't want to transport her to um, Fort Collins because she was very, very ill. And so I went to Loveland to post her bond for her, and she was very ill. She looked bad. Um, she was on dialysis, and her crime was she had been arrested originally for fraud, uh, prescription fraud. And so they had put her on pretrial and had gave her um, urinalysis testing, UAs. Well, she's a um, on dialysis, among all, many of her other problems. She had no urine. So she explained to the court, I can't do that. I can't urinate. How can I give you UA? She took all her paperwork from the doctors and the hospital in and everything else, and what I bonded her on that night for was failure to comply with pretrial because she didn't do her UAs. So I got her out, they put her right back on pretrial again. Well, she was out, I don't know, she was out a couple of weeks, but she missed her court date. She had a brain aneurysm. She went to Swedish in Denver, and that's where she was. I called, she missed court, I got notified by the court. I was looking for her, found out she was in Swedish. I let the cops know, I let everybody know, this is where she's at. She had a brain aneurysm. Pretrial kind of made the comment about why well, she could have called. <laughs> and, well, no, she couldn't. I couldn't even talk to her. She couldn't speak for a while. She, uh, they didn't even know she, if she, for sure she'd pull through. Well, she did. The night she, or the day, the afternoon she got home to Loveland um, from the hospital, Loveland PD was there to arrest her. They took her back over to the police department. And um, this time it was a no bond warrant for failure to comply with pretrial, no bond. Um, she called me, I said, I can't do anything for you, it's no bond warrant, you have to go in front of a judge. Well, she went to LCDC, I made a couple of phone calls, they called an, uh, the on-call judge that night and um, had that judge set a bond for her so that she could get out. They basically just PR'd her because she's pretty, a pretty ill person. And um, they PR'd her out and put her on enhanced pretrial with UAs. <laughs> so, um, you know, I need to follow up with her again. Um, I'm not on her bond. She's got a PR bond. She didn't need me, but um, I need to follow up with her and see how this case is ending. But, you know, um, it's a little bit ridiculous. So. Is pretrial, is it county or is it private? Well, it's, it, every county can have a pretrial program as set up by state statute to have a pretrial program. But, um, I know somebody else wants to get into that. So it's um, funded by the county. We voted it down in 2006. We, as a, you know, the, um, the voters, voted down an expansion and more money to the Larimer County for the expansion of pretrial. In 2006, it was referendum 1A, and we voted it down by 70%, and our county commissioners decided it was a good program. Let's fund it anyway. So, and they're still looking at, at expanding. And is it county run and owned, or does the county pay a private company to run the service? No, the county, the county funds it. Fund well, it we, have a, uh, we have a, we have a Gary Darling, who, what is his official Justice title? Justice Advisor. Justice Advisor, who is, you know, this is his baby, this is what he pushes. So, our, and you know what, he comes up with numbers that the commissioners like, and we come up with the real numbers. And and they don't match. So, um, you know, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, or, or even if it exists. Is there is such a thing as a cooperative agreement or performance uh, performance awards as far as? 
do they have to meet a certain criteria to get uh, a certain amount of funding? I mean, are you aware of anything no. that, that's in place? No, no, but we do know that in order for us to have our businesses and do our jobs, we file reports with the state. And if we don't file those reports with the state, we lose our licenses. Pre-trial is also supposed to file those reports with the state as to how many people are on pre-trial, what kind of monitoring, you know, certain criteria. They've never filed one. We can't pull one, we can't find one, they've never filed one. They're not supposed to get funding if they don't report. And they don't report. Um, so who were the county commissioners who approved this program? Um, back when it was really getting going, mm -hmm. you could it was, it was, um, um, Kathy Reynolds. Yeah, well, Kathy Reynolds, because she's been here the longest. Um, Hello. Hello. I'm Jan. I have probably a little more, um, part in this than I should have. This is a passionate issue for me. I have become involved with a lot of the people that I do have on bond. When I get them out, I've delivered diapers, groceries, I've taken things to the families of these people who may not, you know, be in a position to, to get that at that, that point in their life. Um, so I'm witnessing something here that's very disturbing. It, I heard somebody over here say Nazi Germany. That is, in effect, what this is coming to. If this goes one more step um, of monitoring, we'll be monitoring people who may commit a crime. They may look like they're gonna commit a crime, so let's monitor them. So, um, pre-trial was established to help the indigent, and I do understand that. I think they do have a place doing that. I do not believe they have the right to do UAs or BAs. I think that is just ludicrous. Yeah, take down the address of these people if they need to know where they're at or ask them to call. You know, touch base with us once in a while. Okay, fine. But when you start getting into taking bodily fluids or breathalyzers from people who are not convicted yet, you are overstepping. There's, um, a, the Constitution actually says you cannot be made to testify against yourself. Now, how many people here think when they do a UA on somebody who's not been convicted yet, and it comes up hot, they've just been made to testify against themselves. I see, I see problems there. I also had some handouts here on state statute, Colorado state statute, and the statute is 164105. The thing that, that stood out, and we've read this until we're all sick of reading Colorado State Statute on this subject, but at the bottom of uh, the first page, 164105H, it says, let's see, oh, I take that back, sorry, 3A. The chief judge of any judicial district may order any person who are applying for pretrial release to be evaluated by a pretrial service program established pursuant to this subsection. Okay, in order for them to, to act, act at all, or take any of the rights of a pretrial service program, they have to report. It says on uh, three, each pretrial service program established pursuant to the subsection shall provide an annual report to the chief judge of the judicial district which it serves. The judicial district shall present an annual combined report to the House and Senate Judiciary Committee of the General Assembly. The report shall include but is not limited to the following information. Now these are just recommendations of what they would request. What page is that? Um, that is page 73. And it would be um, E3. We have yet to find any pretrial service program that provides a report. Any in the state. Not one has provided this report. Um, Larimer County really shouldn't even be operating. They are not, they are, have not been established pursuant to this subsection. They don't file the report. 